Hi, I'm Sophie De Winter. Uh, I'm an English student at Cardiff University and I'm doing No Shoes November. <laughs> I decided to go to Africa because um, the trip was organised by my church back home and I'd always, always wanted to do something like that. Um, I, don't, I don't really know anyone who doesn't, to be honest, I think the majority of people want to go and, and see the world like that and help people. Um, and so I was offered the opportunity and I couldn't possibly turn it down. Um, yeah, we saw, saw and noticed a lot of... Um, a lot of really sad stuff, obviously lots of poverty and um, lots of really poorly people um, and people that are just in desperate need of, of so much more help than they're actually giving them. Um, but also lots of joy and lots of smiles and children just being happy and just living um, and just playing and you'd be walking, walking to church in the morning or going to the market and you just have a child hanging off every finger like they just they just wanted to hold your hand and and show some love and be loved and then um, um yeah really wonderful people and a wonderful culture it was yeah really upsetting to see how um how people in third world live um really just made me feel really disappointed in myself and in the culture that i live in because I just don't understand how how we've done so little and like we, it feels like we've done so much to help but actually like when you see what's out there we've done nothing and you hear statistics like oh if, if the world's military forces gave one day of their spending to to tackle third world poverty we could potentially wipe it out and I just think that's insane I think I just take stuff for granted a lot less. I used to be dreadful at doing schoolwork and stuff. Um, and I was just really lazy and unmotivated. And then you see how little they have and how like they just make the most of everything. And I, I you know, you just can't come back and go back to normal. You you look at everything in a different way and you're like, wow, like I'm really, really overprivileged and, and overblessed and I need to make the most of it while I can. So the fundraiser that I'm taking part in is called No Shoes November. Um, it basically means you wear no shoes, socks, tights or slippers for the whole of November, 24-7, um, and just go about your normal day-to-day -day life. So walking to the shops, going to lectures, um, doing gigs in my case, uh, walking to church, whatever, just do it totally barefoot. Giving up a luxury that I took for granted um, is just a really weird experience because I've never, I've never done anything like it before. Even like Lent, I think I gave up meat once, um, but that wasn't that hard. Like there's corn and stuff. With giving up shoes, there's no alternative. Like you are stuck outside in the cold, walking to lectures in the rain with the glass and the, you know human saliva from people spitting and stuff and it's just really minging. Um I think it was just really grounding. I think it makes you really like reassess your like outlook on life.
yeah, lots of uh, mishaps and injuries have uh, been going on, uh, taken place. Um, quite a bit of glass has been pulled out of feet. Just little shards, but they're, all, they're quite nasty and they get stuck in. Um, a few stubbed toes and the skin like come off the bottom of the toe. There's been blood everywhere. One guy actually on the last, um, uh, last weekend um, was cycling and he caught his toe on the pavement. And it was just horrendous, like there was so much blood. We just wanted people to remember about everyone that's suffering because I think as a as a society and as a as a like a Western culture, we've all become really accustomed and conditioned to people suffering and seeing you know starving African children on TV, um, and we're just so used to seeing it that we don't I don't know. Not that we don't do anything about it, but we don't feel about how we should. I think we should see stuff like that and we should just be just crying out for how much they're suffering and how awful it is. And we don't anymore. I like to think that they will realise the importance of charity and that people are going to be more open and more ready to give. I hope that that is the kind of effect that this, this whole thing has had on people. I have definitely got a much like bigger heart for the charity and just improving people's life quality after this whole um, fundraising, this whole experience. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to carry it on next year and kind of really make a thing of it and get people all over the country doing it. Um, I think it's a really, really powerful fundraiser and um, I'm just really excited for its potential and how much we can change people's lives through it, um, not just by raising money, but by changing the attitudes of the people who join in with it. So, so I know that I've learned so much and changed so much over just a month of not wearing shoes and I just hope that, that we can do that for people as well as helping people in the middle.
Let you push me past the thing.